Hi everybody, Bob Berger over here at Rustero Toyota, and I thought of making a video of Forerunner versus Highlander because although they're extremely different vehicles, I have a lot of people comparing the two. Unfortunately, today I only have a Highlander to show you physically, but I will be walking around the Highlander telling you some of the differences and what to expect with the Forerunner. I hope you like this short video and I hope you find it informational because I know it's brought up quite a lot in my dealership. Which one should I get? This Highlander is going to be your classic SUV. Now they come standard with three rows, making it an optimal family vehicle. The first difference you're going to notice between the two, if you put them up side by side, which I really wish I could right now, maybe I'll remake this video in a little bit later in the future when I have the two to put next to each other, is the ride height and the stance. Now the Highlander is going to be your everyday perfect daily driver it really is they handle the snow phenomenally they handle bad weather phenomenally they fit everybody they have a comfortable quiet ride for the forerunner you're gonna notice it's taller it's actually on a truck frame it is designed to off-road it is a mean muscular machine it is going to drive completely different and you can see that in the way they sit so if you are somebody who wants a quite comfortable ride i would go with the highlander all day any day all right now the other big thing that i know usually makes the decision for people between the two do i go highlander or do i go forerunner is back here all right and what i'm talking about is the third row Now, oh, I'm gonna get in the back here to show you something. That, truth be told, this is not a minivan. The back seat is not gonna be super roomy. Excuse me while I get out of here. So you saw my knees were up against the seat. Now I could have, if I had somebody to help me out here, I can slide the seat a little bit more for, uh, further. Then again, you would be sacrificing the room of the legs back here, but it is a little bit cramped. Now it's not a problem for kids. Kids actually fit there with relative ease. And it's especially great if you're just mostly concerned about taking your kids' friends around town, taking the some extra family members when you're on trips that's all fine and dandy but obviously not super big now with the forerunner it's gonna be a lot smaller and i actually have a lot of people now that try out the third row that's not even standard on a forerunner it's hard to find on a forerunner and once we find it on a forerunner as soon as they put the kids back there they go oh wow well maybe that's not quite enough room now it is usable well, I know plenty of my customers who use that on a regular basis with their kids. But once your kids are getting to that taller stage, it's going to be cramped for them. So if you're planning on doing long trips, road trips, stuff like that, the Forerunner's third row might not be acceptable for those teenage years. That's for sure. So that's another big deciding factor. Last thing is going to be features. As you saw, this has a power lift gate. The Forerunner is not going to get that in any trim level. The other is just a general amenities. You're gonna get a lot of the stuff like heated seats, larger displays, fancier dashes, more adjustable seating, all this a lot sooner, a lot more fancier with the Highlander. The Forerunner is definitely a utilitarian vehicle. It is designed off-road. Now you can get the limited with the with the Forerunner, get your uh, heated seats, your cooled seats in it. You can get your fancy rims. You can get your sunroof, but you're going to be missing some of the stuff that people like in this. You know, bird's eye view, uh, the power lift gate, like I mentioned before. There are going to be some differences. So, my end all conclusion between the two if you're looking for the cushy ride, the amenities, just the really nice overall daily driver. I would say the Highlander. Now, if you are somebody who wants something that's mean, 
fierce, off-road capable, 4x4 truck frame. Plan on having some fun in the mud. I, I'd go 4Runner all day. So those are the two differences. It gets brought up a lot. If you have any questions, call us at 262-334-9411, 262-334-9411. And ask for sales.